You guys think Santa will like these cookies? Hey guys, welcome to Just Winging It. I'm your host, Mariah, and this is my super unimpressive kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my famous white chocolate chip cranberry cookie recipe. These are amazing. These are really great for a Christmas cookie recipe or really just like any time cookie recipe. I love it for a Christmas cookie recipe because it has cranberries in it and cranberries just scream Christmas to me. The cranberries also add a little bit of tartness to balance out the sweetness from the white chocolate chips and the saltiness from the coarse sea salt that I put on top. But most importantly, everyone loves them because of the secret ingredient, love. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is love a wet ingredient or is it a dry ingredient? Well, really just throw it in there because it is essential to the texture and the flavor and most importantly, the essence of the cookie. Let's start by combining our butter, both sugars, egg, vanilla, and mix on high until everything is well combined. In a perfect world, your butter will be room temperature, but of course, mine wasn't completely warm enough, but that's okay, I'm here to show you what not to do. Just kidding, it's fine. As long as you remember the secret ingredient we talked about in the beginning. Oh, you don't remember? Pay attention, people. This is vital. In a separate bowl, mix together your flour, baking powder, salt, and of course, love. Now we're gonna add about half of our flour mixture into our wet mixture. Mix until that's well combined, scrape the sides of our bowl, and then add the additional flour. Then we're gonna throw in our cranberries, white chocolate chips, and mix again until everything is well combined. Okay, now this step is essential for the love ingredient. In order for it to activate properly, we have to lick the beater clean. It's just part of the process that we gotta do. Our real next step is we have to cover this and refrigerate it for at least a few hours. These are the best when you let them rest overnight, but I'm too impatient, so... I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a few hours and call it good. But if you let it sit overnight, all of the ingredients get to know each other, they get nice and cozy, they start to love each other. And that, my friends, is the secret. We have our dough here, ta-da! It's been resting for about six hours. You can always bake these right away, but again, the longer you let them rest, the more the flavors are gonna work together. Okay, I've lined my sheet with parchment paper. We're just gonna roll these in little balls and press some coarse sea salt on top. I like to shape my cookies like hockey pucks. It's about two tablespoons worth of cookie dough per hockey puck. To make them look better, I'm gonna push in a couple cranberries and a couple white chocolate chips, just so they're right off the top and they are gonna look beautiful. This is another reason I like to shape my cookies in this shape. It makes it really easy to put the toppings on top and make them look really pretty. Press these toppings in, sprinkle some coarse sea salt on top and bake at 325 for about 10 minutes or so, depending on your oven. We want these to be golden brown on the outside and gooey in the middle. Voila, our beautiful golden brown cookies that are crunchy on the outside and gooey on the inside. Put these on a cooling rack and let them cool and then repeat the process again for the additional cookie dough. You don't wanna leave these on the pan because they'll end up overcooking. You want to put them on a cooling rack. Here are our cookies. Don't these look amazing? Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. This is honestly the perfect cookie. The outside is nice and crunchy. The inside, if you can see it, is super gooey and chewy and delicious. These are not too sweet and the salt on top is just perfect to bring all these flavors together and the love just smacks you in the face. I'm telling you, these are a huge hit and they will be a huge hit with everyone. You won't want to stop eating them. It's kind of a problem. Oh, also this recipe makes about a dozen and a half cookies. If you make them the same size I did, which are like little hockey pucks, which is the best size cookie. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.